good where's my hand day dino friend okay my hand disappeared in my head because i am a tiny lego today anyway once again i didn't really have time to edit blah 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 excuses doesn't matter i said phone be quiet i said if i don't have enough time to edit a video i will record a video without editing so i'm trying to get better at that so i'm gonna not even cut out that f sound that my phone just made i'm not even gonna cut it out we're just gonna leave it in we're just gonna upload this i've decided because over the years of course i'm always thinking about like what build a boat could change because i like thinking about things like that i think uh game design is very fascinating and fun like what can you change to make it even cooler so I've thought of about five, I think about five things in Build a Boat for Treasure, where if they would change it even a little bit, I think more people would play the game, more people would enjoy it. So after I'm proposing these things, I'm sending them to Chill Thrill or the developers, maybe the Discord, I'm not sure. And also please in the comments, leave your ideas and tell me what you think Build a Boat should change. Um, one last thing before I start, the, in these videos I will more talk about like what's wrong now and not the ideas on how to change it because I like doing specific videos about ideas what they can change. For instance, one time I made an, an entire video about what if Build Boat for Treasure would make creative mode. This video is not so much about the solutions, I'm just saying these things would have to change. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Fo phone! Dude, who's sending me messages right now? Hang on, give me a second. Okay, I just clicked... I just clicked pause on the recording and then continue. I don't know how that works. So this is... There might be like a weird gap in the music. I don't know how this feels. Okay, I never do this. <laughs> I, I paused and clicked start on the recording. Okay. So, part one is the new player experience. I kind of wanted to talk about this. Whenever someone is new in the game, you spawn and there's a little tutorial i don't think the tutorial there's anything really wrong with it other than that it could be stylistically look a little bit better um honestly i don't really know exactly what the tutorial is i tried it earlier today but i forgot really because <laughs> too much time has passed uh, you start off with so a few blocks it tells you welcome to build a of treasure put a block you can only put it in this area delete it and then i think it tells you to go down the river something like that um honestly nothing too bad is wrong with the tutorial what i want to talk about more is all the things that can happen to people when they start that makes them not want to play the game because when you think about it it's really sad if someone joins a game and then they right away they have like a really bad experience and then they leave and they never come back that's sad because they could have stayed and loved the game so how can we make that not happen uh i think maybe build boat for treasure could like have like a small like separate server for new players whenever you play for the first time only you're in a uh, single player server and then after you've gone down the river once or i've played for a little bit before you go to back to public servers i'm not talking about free private servers but anyway that's a suggestion as i said this is not going to be about the ideas that much because here's the thing about all the other players here's the thing you want to see you want to see can you guess can you guess what i'm going to say this right here Imagine you're a new player, you've never played Build a Boat before, you're like trying to do the tutorial, someone harpoons you, someone just yeets you into the river, you're dead, you're like, what just happened? I've heard from multiple people, they get into the game, they get trolled, and they just don't play again, and it's really sad. Like, I've heard from streamers, you know, people who could make the game more popular, that they've only tried Build a Boat for Treasure once, because someone like started attacking them stuff like that i really think not just for new players but that it's an issue that players can bother you except if you have pvp on i think if you choose to put pvp on then 
it's fair game. But if you have PvP off, I think, first of all, Harpoon should just not be able to touch your blocks. I think people... I don't know, the isolation mode, we all know isolation mode doesn't really work. Every time I'm on a stream, I'm playing Build a Boat for Treasure, I put isolation mode on, someone can just sort of glitch their way in there. So it doesn't even really work. And it's also kind of hard to find, it's not that hard to find for us, the players, but for, if you're new for the first time, this gets kind of confusing, like, uh, which one do I need? Isolation mode, what does that even mean? If you're new, you might not know. Um, blocking join requests, stuff like that. Anyway, that is what I wanted to talk about. Please tell me in the comments if you agree that they should change it. Uh, there are a few more things that I think definitely have to change in Build a Boat for Treasure to just make the game more fun. Because as I said, it, it's just so sad if someone joins the game, they instantly get harpooned and they never play again. This could have been a player who stays in the game and then they become one of the greatest builders of all time in Build a Boat for Treasure. But they never began, they never got that life, I guess, because they, they got trolled at the start and they never played again and instead moved to a different game. You know? I don't know, that's just what I'm trying to say here. There's just too much trolling. I guess this would also be an argument against how easy it is to troll people. I've actually also, I have also, I also have one friend. I won't snitch, I won't say a name, I won't say a name. I have one friend and she told me, Oh, you build a boat for trash? Yeah, I know that game. I go in there sometimes to troll people, to troll new players. Now, I don't support this behavior, but that's what she does. Some people literally just love to troll. You could troll in so many ways, not just harpoons. You could just build a giant thing and just load up, like, just put, like, if you have enough blocks, you can just put a million blocks like this, load it and drop it from the sky, you know? Uh, sometimes people make it rain blocks just to create lag. They just put a million blocks and it instantly just lags you or kicks you out of the game. The fact that you can kick other players out of the game is crazy. So yeah, I think something has to be done about this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree. Let me think about anything else. I guess for new players also, the fact that you start with, I think you start with zero money or a very small amount, but it's a hundred or less, I think. And only 10 blocks, about 10 blocks. I think, I don't know. Either make people start with a little bit more just to motivate them like, hey, stick with us, stick with the game or have a better, um, what's the word? Well, a system of upgrading to the... Uh, like right now you have to go all the way to the end. Well, not necessarily all the way, but to get some money you have to get quite far. They have to die, get the money, go far on the river again, etc. It's a real grind. I think it should be different so that the more you play, you get like exponential. I think it should be exponential. That's the word. I don't know if everyone who's watching this knows what that means, but it's like, let's say every time you get to the end, you get 1% more money every time. So if you've made it to the end 100 times, you get 200% also known as two times as much gold as before. I think that would be a great system because it, you would really have to play a lot before it would become like crazy amounts, but it does open the options for people to keep playing and it's very motivating. Anyway, I'm already talking about the next thing. Actually, that was supposed to be the next video uh, after the beginner experience. Uh, how the game progresses. So I'm just going to stop recording this, upload this, and then next week or another time I'm uploading the next part where I'll talk about that. Please leave your comments uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or join the stream sometimes. I like to play Build a Boat for Treasure in streams as well. Twitch.tv slash Buildasaurus or leave a message in my Discord. You could also leave a message in the Chill Thrill Discord. I don't really check there that much though. I'm sorry, it's too too big. Every, the message is too, the message, messages are going too fast. All right. <laughs> Bye, friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Shout out to Green Thunder and Carl for sponsoring uh, and being YouTube member and patron. Thanks so much.